then I, I'm moving a lot of black people here. We take the property value all the way fucking down. Yeah. You been one fucking slut. You know, nigga. It's not really worth the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mostly, I don't know. Yeah. That is the very thing. We are peasants. That's how I feel when I get up. Like every time I get up. Hey, mama, see you. I need to this is Anzacast and you know, welcome back. We will talk about everything from fashion to to entrepreneurship and everything, everything in between. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Today, yeah, uh, our topic is gonna be flex culture. We're gonna be talking about it from the perspective of just like releases. Uh, we're gonna be talking about it uh, from possessions, from um, what your responsibility is towards other human beings, bro. Regardless of what you yeah, have and what is in your yeah. possession, bro. And just because like, you got some new kicks, yeah, and you just want them from no, the raffle that, that, that or whatever. That shit sound deep still, like. That's what I'm saying, like. Yeah. It is deep. It is deep because this has actual consequences for people, uh, for other people out there. Word. Just imagine, it's like a kid going out to school, yeah, with the new pair of whatever it is that yeah. they just put out. New Jordan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this kid's parents couldn't afford to get that for them. And the other kids got them, and I mean, but, it stirs some emotions, you know what I'm saying? But, but maybe we should start by identifying what flex culture is. Flex culture is... And what it's connected to, because it's not just what it is, but what it's connected to. All right, let's talk about that then. Flex culture is just like, I mean, the, the description is in the title. You like to flex on other people in your vicinity just because of the shit you got that they, they, they don't have. But but here's the thing, and, yeah. and and maybe this is where we come to like the whole in between we talked about, you know. Let's go, <laughs> right? <laughs> Every, everything from fashion to entrepreneurship and in everything between. in between. Yeah. So today we are in the fucking betweens, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like, is it calm the fuck down? I am like, down, bro. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I, I, I cool, I cool. Calm and collected. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we kind of in the in between it. Eh? Mm. But I think like flex culture is actually connected to, to hip hop a lot. Bro, it could be connected to everything. No, no, else. no. I mean, no you could no. flex to whatever you got. I know, but I mean like if if we're talking like if we're trying to narrow down like the, the genesis. Yeah, hip hop, yeah. This because, is my view like, you, bro. Before, 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 like you know, rappers started, you know, showing off this is that or whatever not, and started putting a lot of the shit in the music. Yeah, it was. I don't think it was the same. I'm not saying that people didn't flex before. Ah, uh, they did flex. You know, bro. but bro, the, my the advent flex hard. But the advent of of, of the music video, mm -hmm. the advent of like you know the multimillionaire rapper, that that's like from yeah. the, from the nineties, end of the nineties. Middle two thousands, like that was most of what you saw. I mean, you still see it today, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but like, I mean, the foundations for flexing, I think, it come from there. It comes from middle nineties to you know middle two thousands. That ten year gap, you know, yeah, from ninety five, around about ninety five to two thousand and five, like where most of the music was about. Look at me, I got money, cars, and hoes. You know, and and. I got money, cars, and bitches, nigga. Yeah, it, it was um, it was that. You're not absolutely wrong when it comes to this topic, but like I don't think we can attribute it like, like, like the whole flexing is almost like a pandemic, bro. But like, <laughs> it means a pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a small. Bro, pandemic. listen, listen. We can't say pandemic. No, I'm just saying uh, flexing <laughs> might be a little bit of a pandemic, or it be a, an epidemic, or whatever it is. But it's an outbreak. And uh, and the people out there who don't have as much as you don't like it, so we have to address that. But here here's the thing with the whole flexing, because like, all right, let's not necessarily move away from hip hop culture, mm -hmm. but let's let's bring it fast forward to 2023. Mm -hmm. It's become more mainstream because yeah, like, I think the advent of social media as well mm -hmm. has made you know. 
flexing more available. If, if you want to call it that. Yeah, because you now know? I can easily just put it in your face, man. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 you know, just, no, you know, no. no. Face. There was a time when you was just seeing, you know, like a million dollars and, you know, the most expensive champagne and whatever not. Yep. And, and the, the, the flyest cars in music videos. Mm -hmm. Now, any Instagram influencer can do it. Uh, like... I mean, it's just stuff that is so readily accessible. But that's that's what I mean. So it, it's become more accessible to, like, the layperson. Mm -hmm. and, and the irony about all of this, because, like, um, I don't think actual rich people flex. I actually do think they flex, but, like, it depends. Not, not, in, not in the sense that we would recognize flexing. I mean, it really depends, you bro. know, like, like, for example, like like a Jay Z wearing a Richard Millie and and just pulling up to a Super Bowl, whatever situation that he's, he likes to go to, he is surrounded by other people who got just the same amount of money or more. So it's really nothing. But when it comes down to the fucking trenches or to the people who don't have as much as him, yeah, he definitely flexes, bro. Yeah, but but that's a low key flex. Low key, yeah. I want yeah, to I mean, all right, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, I think flexing, flexing, this, bro. this, no, but you, you see, this, this is my. Um, I think he's flexing, flexing, bro. Like, he, he might I, not feel the need to do it, but the mere fact that he got his stuff on him, that is his flex, bro. Because yeah, most of those people can't even afford I mean, that. I mean, that's that's a yes and a no, but like. I'm playing devil's advocate as I always. Am. Yeah, you love devil's advocate. To be I devil's mean, advocate. like. I think for it to be considered flexing, and this is just my opinion. Yeah, it's okay. For it to be con considered flexing, it has to be your intention. You don't think he has that intention, though? I'm not necessarily sure. I mean, because he comes from that right, environment, right. but he made it out and made something out of himself. Right. So it's like, he feels good about that. I can promise you that. Yeah, but the intention may not be to flex. Mm. You get me? Mm. Like It's like, I'm wearing this because I can you know yeah. and I, I can i can afford it but exactly i can afford it yeah. and it's not necessarily like nigga look what the fuck i got on you know ah, but like but i don't like, feel like, like it, i don't it's, feel like it's just, so i think there's definition like there's a definition of flexing that needs to be narrowed no, down it's it's like really hard to like to know uh the the, the, the areas that he can get into or bro, he can get into when it bro. comes to flexing but wait let, 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 let me tell you mm -hmm. The mere fact that he will wear uh, a, a watch that's, it's, that costs a million fucking dollars. Right? That's somebody's salary for yeah. a year? No, a million is not somebody's salary <laughs> for a year. For most people on this side of the planet, that's about three years, dog. All right, cool. Uh, two and a half, three right, years. Bro. All right, cool. So the mere fact that he actually <laughs> decided on that particular object and he bought it, mm. that's a flex, man. All right, all right, cool. You, you know what? It, uh, it doesn't if, need to come from you, him. If, if you say that, all right. Like, yeah, it all right, doesn't let, need to come from him, but the people around him won't look at that shit and be like, God damn, bro, like, that's my salary. Like, it's my, for the next three years. You but, better but, on your own. But, but um, all right, all right. Yeah. Because, like, I have, I have a question, and this is, you see, this is funny because now oh. it's going to feel like it's a flex. <laughs> I'm trying to flex on somebody. No, I'm like not trying to, right but now. that's the thing. Mm. I wear a ring. That is most people's salary for a month. Makes sense. Yeah? Mm. Most people don't know. They don't. But you're not flexing. But, that, but that's what I mean. I don't think that he is, like, doing it like, like, if you said to me. Oh, I understand what you're you talking about. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, if you yeah. said to me that's a Richard Milley and I don't, I, I don't know what a Richard Milley is. But here's is, the thing, yeah. It wouldn't Look. mean anything to me. So I think, like, it has to be intention. No, bro. No, the no, intention no. Is, is... It's not is, just that, bro. Like, there's this culture. There's this social media culture now where people post everything that celebrities wear and how much it costs and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it goes without saying that this information is out there. People know what Jay-Z wears, bro. But then again, I, I, I have to digress. Like, I feel like this is like one of, one of those adversarial podcasts we're going to have. No, it's not really that. <laughs> not necessarily adv like, not adversarial in a negative sense, but like where I will have to stick to my guns on this no, one. No, I, I will understand because that. I don't still. feel like a lot of these people, when they can afford these things, 
I don't feel like they wear them or buy them or use them or whatever the fuck it is. Hmm? I don't feel like it's necessarily the like intention. The flex. It's just like, I like this. This is nice. I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, like this is me now. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, I can afford this now. So, yeah. Why the fuck not? I mean, but I don't think it's the... Because, like, I think we need bro, to it's come a flex, to... flex, bro. Nah, bro. I, I'm, me, I'm not going to agree with you on that. I feel like... I'm not saying that some people don't flex. Because there are people who definitely do it. I mean, like, can we just say it like this, yeah? When it comes to flexing, it's a very relative situation. So depending All on right, the financial let's agree situation. to disagree on, so, on this. So for the people who got less than you, mm -hmm. what you might have on you might seem like flexing. But there's always okay. somebody else who's got more. And for, <laughs> for you, you're in relation... Cash. You're playing catch. You're playing catch. In relation to the person mm -hmm. who got more than you, whatever they got on, that might seem like flexing. And it goes on and on and on. But it's... There's a level of flexing mm. in every situation, bro. We bro, flex, bro. Like, it's then, normal. Then, like, all right. Like, yeah. listen, I got dreadlocks, bro. I know a bunch of people who don't, don't so have you, hair. So you... It's a flex. You know, fuck it. I'm done. I'm hey, out. Man, like, yeah, man, stay, bro. I feel like it's shots fired. No, I'm just saying, like... <laughs> I feel like... I had dreadlocks. I feel like it's shots fired, bro. <laughs> I got dreadlocks. I got a full set of hair, bro. For somebody who I don't got like hair... I feel like it's shots fired, bro. Relax, man. <laughs> <laughs> for, some, for somebody who don't got hair, it's a flex. But it's I don't, but th right. that's the thing, like, I wouldn't view it as a flex. Mm. You sure about that? <laughs> Did you see me just do this just now? Bro, bro, <laughs> I feel like that shot's fired, bro. I'm right. like, I'm feeling like, bro, nah, I nigga. I fire a lot of shots. I never fire shots for you know. <laughs> but, yeah. but here's the thing, like, and this is why I said I don't feel like if the intention isn't there, then it's not. If I were, like like I told you, like, I have a ring on. I never told you which ring. You know I, what I mean? I know which ring. No, you know. But I mean, like, you know, like, for the, like, the lay person. Yeah, they would know. They would see me with rings, and it's like, oh, yeah. it's just a ring. There would be no and idea of exactly. what ring it was, bro. It was and ring. so, for me, it's not a flex. But if I were to have the same ring on, and then I go out and, like, you know what my ring costs? That's flexing, in I'm, my opinion, because then the intention not just that, is to bro. draw your attention to what, what it costs. No, but it really depends with the information around the ring, bro. If it's something that's popular and people fuck with it, and they understand it, and they can identify it just by seeing it, then it's a flex. But in this case, yeah, okay. your ring is something that has sentimental value to you. That's why you got it, right? I assume, yeah. And, and what, what it costs. It costs. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it costs. Like, he has sentimental value. But I guess, for me, like, this is what would be a low-key flex. Because, like, <laughs> like, I know what it costs. And mm -hmm. most people seeing it don't know what it costs. No, and it just yeah, seems like it's a, it's a it's regular a ring. ring. It's, it's, like, it's, it's cool. But it's for me, it's just like, nah, bro, I know my ring costs. So, like. yeah. <laughs> flexing, I guess the point here is that, like, flexing also has to have, like, you have to have a degree you have a, a certain degree amount of understanding of what you need to have to be able to do it. So, so like playing for your audience, then you gotta be able to play for your audience. So, like, I can't just go right, out right. to 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 my friends who got regular jobs and they don't got money like that with a new uh, Bentley, Ben Tager, and think that that is gonna impress them. They're gonna be like, "Oh, cool, Tim's doing well. He's doing better. Yeah, than nice got a nice car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't really understand that it's a fucking Ben Tager. You know what I mean? It's, 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 yeah, Man, it doesn't up. make it it's like, it's like, I don't pull up. I pull up. I really pull up. <laughs> so, like, you have to have a degree of understanding of what the culture is and what people do. So, then, you, then your audience is important. Like, my understanding, then, if yeah. you're flexing, your audience is very important it, in it, order for you to flex. You got to be able to flex. But, like, when it comes to this flex thing, I don't exactly know how I feel about it. Because for me, it's more of a negative thing than it is positive. No, I because there's no, there's no uh, fashion or there's no way that flexing can, can be packaged in for it to sound good to me. But it's not something that... I, I would have to I agree with you on that. Like, yeah. that, I will definitely agree with you on. Mm. Because, like, for me, I don't necessarily... And I'll go back to the analogy of the ring. Mm. Like, I don't necessarily feel the need for anybody to know what my ring cost. Yeah, man. I, you know what I mean? You don't need to know. I that. don't feel the need to say like, you know, no, it's not it's not, you know, 
zirconia. It's real diamond. Now that you know what I mean. There's some real diamonds here. You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't feel that need because like it's not like I see confirmation. Well, you're not looking and, for that. Like I know it's diamonds. I don't need to tell you it's diamonds for them to be diamonds. Yeah. You know what I mean. You don't need so, to see it. Based on that, like I don't feel like there is a need to flex. No, nah, man. And so, if, if if having material things is important, and I guess this is kind of where it goes, you know, left and goes deep in a way. Like, if if you have to use material things to say to people, "I got it" or "I made it," "I'm on my way there," whatever the fuck, not you're trying to, you know, message. Or what you're playing for the audience. Mm -hmm. You're trying to brand yourself. You know what you know I mean? Then, then, I feel, then I feel like you don't lost. You're actually not wrong when it comes to that topic. Because like, I'm going to just do a 360 on this. Like, How you feel is how you behave. And, and if you feel like you need to impress somebody else for you to feel a certain type of way. So yeah, bro. <laughs> you, need a, definitely you need a therapist. Yeah, you got to you gotta talk to somebody and try and figure out what the issues are. Because what you have, yeah, is what should make you happy. And you can take care of your family having it. But... You really do not need other people's approval for you to feel like you got something nice. So flexing for me is just something that doesn't make any sense. But yeah. But but if 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 we're gonna go like just let's let's I I wouldn't even call it a tangent, mm -hmm. but it's an extension of the conversation that we're having now. Um people who go like when you know like there are drops. Mm -hmm. For you know the latest like Jordans, or the Yeezys, you know what I mean, mean yeah. Yeezys, that kind of stuff. I had to flex on that one. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> uh, bro, like, <laughs> oh man, like listen, this is a regular flex, but anybody could afford this. Uh, I can, if I got a new Yeezys bro. and you ain't got a more, bro. bro, I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, like, I'm, uh, listen, listen, come on, yeah, that's not regular flex. Fuck that. No, but like, it, it is definitely regular flex, bro. It's not regular. I'll tell you why I don't think it's regular. No, it's not regular flex. It's not regular flex because no, 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 no. I I think this this is like a flex flex, mm. uh, because there's shoes uh, we say you know maybe Yeezys or there's mm. Jordans yeah, Yeezys, Jordan. that like no, I mean they're okay shoes. Like mm. oh. Adidas has like one point five billion dollars worth of them shoes. Big facts that and, they cancel. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, contact Kanye <laughs> and make sure you you're back on his good graces because without that you can't sell them. Listen, donate shoes, the bro. shoes to charity. Adidas, please. Now nah, we don't want no charity <laughs> fucking Yeezys, bro. If you're gonna give me Yeezys, you're gonna sell them to me, bro. No, no, no. Donate the nope. shoes to charity. Nope. I'll be first in line. I'll if I don't, <laughs> if I do not pay for the Yeezys, they don't feel like Yeezys. I gotta no, no, pay no. good money for them. All right, this th but this is also the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because like when you said one. that, mm. it just clicked something in my head. I mean, is it that the flex is so connected to what to, it's called? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, w within reason, I would say. Within reason, I would say. Like, a Yeezy flex, so if I got like the freshest pair of Yeezys that just came out mm -hmm. and I spent money on them, yeah, it's a good feeling because it's not just that it's an exclusive pair of kicks, but it's also about like. Like, any, any, everybody has access to those, bro. You could have easily got them. All right, all right. Let's say it like this, because, like, I mean, in general, yeah. like, not in general, I, I, I just never shop, a, like, a, a secondhand store or whatever. No. Oh, wow. But let's say, mm. let's say I was walking past a secondhand store, mm -hmm. I saw a fucking pair of Richard Jordans, yeah? They don't know what they have, but, you, you know, know, I know, exactly, so I know about mm. sneakers, I mean, yeah, like, know. You know, oh, this know. is Richard Jordan. oh, Yeah, you know, you know they, they don't have to know. Man. Exactly. You know. So they don't That's know. That's the only way I get a good deal anyway. So I pull up on them. I'm like, all right, cool. I'll buy them. And they, they're cheap. Yeah? Usually. But, but, no, no, no. no. They're cheap in, in, the, in, the, in the thrift shop. Yeah, know? I said usually second because store. most of them, they don't, they don't know what they have. Exactly. Anymore. So they're cheap in the secondhand store. I go and buy them pairs and go out. And like, if you look on the resale, like just for the resale value of what I got on, I got it at a steal. You, you is it flexing it? then? If I go out in them, like, uh, let's say they cost, I don't know, three, four, not that sounds cheap if I'm saying like three or four hundred dollars a Retro Jordan. But like, let's just say you could find them for like, I don't know, yeah, five, six hundred dollars. Yeah. But they're not cheap, bro. And, and, and I could, I got them for 50. Yeah. 
I got him for 50, and these things is clean still. Uh, yeah, and I'm just reasonably out here. still in good shape. Exactly. And uh, is 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 it flexing that? No, it definitely isn't, bro. Like you got something for good price, and 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 maybe that's not what you expected to get anyway. It, it just but, feels but, way better when no, you spend money, bro. No, no but <laughs> like, you didn't spend nothing, so I don't think they hold the same so, fucking. So I don't, it I don't, doesn't carry the same weight. No, they don't carry the same weight, bro. Like even if it's, or listen, listen. No, for you to be able to flex, you gotta pay good money for it. Really, bro. <laughs> so like, if I was to so, spend, so it's enough, not about the thing; it's about what you spend. That's exactly what it is, because uh, <laughs> like you just said, it's a thing. <laughs> so it's about what you spend. Exactly. I bought my first pair of, uh, pair, uh, pair of Yeezys, bro. Them paid... Yeezys is nice, though. Yeah, like, so I like those. I, I spent... I'll never, I... I'll never buy it. <laughs> bro, I bought like, them. No. Bro, that was retail price. That was resale price. And this, them shits cost me like six pounds. But here's I, the thing. I would buy Jordans, but I'll never buy them fucking Yeezys, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, like, <laughs> I didn't flex in them, but like I'm pretty sure that everybody that saw me wear those kicks... All oh, those fucking Yeezys, they thought I was flexing because that's something they couldn't get their hands on. Because, right. you know, they were like, oh, authentic, yet very rare. But this is the thing. I gotta because, flex. But just a little bit, just a little bit. This, this is, this is I'm what... not vain. Just a little bit of flexing. <laughs> is just going on here. This is what I'm wondering, yeah? Mm. Because, all right, you, you know my, my Jordan 720s, yeah? Mm. Like, that particular color scheme, mm. I've never seen it. Is it a flex then? Like, I'll wear it. Like It's not a flex because it's not like that collector's item that everybody wants, bro. I'm okay. pretty sure it's, it's in, in, uh, in very large supplies in other places. I don't, so I don't necessarily. But, but this, is, this is what I'm wondering, yeah? Mm. Is it then that it has, we talked about playing for your audience, yeah? Mm. In this particular audience where we live, I have never seen anybody in a pair of fucking 720s. Because, because on this side of the world, first of all, Jordan is not as popular, and second of all, niggas is kind of broke, bro. <laughs> I actually say that wrong. People are not broke out here. They just don't know the culture. Not just the culture. It's also the aspect of um, norms. Fitting in, you know, law government. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. With my orange fucking bottoms. Like, Listen, man. No, no, man. Like, I'm out there like orange fucking no, no. souls. Like, I, I, I think go, most fuck. of it, you can chuck it to the cultural experience that we have going on. We're like, even with black people mm -hmm. who don't want to stick out so much, so they tend to conform into the cultural norms that we have around. So we wish we had the same culture, but we just don't practice it to the same level. Because you don't want to stick out so much. That's how it is. Because if you stick out so much, there's a shame culture, bro. But, I'm not, that, 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 but this is that. also the other thing, yeah? Mm. I'm not that stick out kind of guy. You know that. Like, I'm no, a no, low-key yeah, nigga. When it comes to kicks, yeah, you I'm stick a look out. That. <laughs> now, when it comes to your shoes, you stick out, bro. You no, know. nigga, I'll be out here with bro, my you shoes. Got, I go, yeah, fuck. Yeah, my my I guy got fuck. a pastel color <laughs> shoes in that. It's, I go, fuck, that's my shoes. Yeah. But still, like, I feel like if 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 you're playing to a certain audience, and 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 then we're gonna use ignorance in the way that the word ignorance should actually be used. Yeah. <laughs> like you are ignorant of the fact that these fucking Jordans is the shit. They don't. You know. know? They don't. Know. And 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 I'm like, okay. That's when you fail when you flex. It's a fail when you. But flex. but the the first thing is that I wasn't trying to flex. I don't know that. You know, yeah. but for me, it's just like then the fact that nobody recognizes get you what, pissed, huh? what, what is it? You no, get I angry? You get, yeah, I get pissed. I get, you pissed. get a little salty. No, fuck no, no. I get salty, salty for that shit. Bro. Like, I feel like I'm walking in heaven in these motherfuckers. It's like, yeah, tell you, bro, if, God, if God. I wore a fire pair of sneakers and nobody fucking notices, I get mad, man. Like, I, I, I actually do get fucking mad. But do you get it's... mad then because, like, you're flexing, but it's not recognized? No, nah, bro, it's just like this. I just realized that uh, I love a culture that people don't respect. Oh, they're not vested enough to be able to keep it alive. Culture is important, bro, because but you, but there's you know, just so many you, different elements to it. But you know what? Like, and I, this I feel like... It feeds life, bro. It makes us who we are. It makes us, you know... Yeah, but, we are excited and we are happy about the things that happen. New sneaker drops, new uh, album drops, new music drops. Everything is exciting, bro. bro it bro, adds I'm, to the quality of bro, our life. Bro, I have to like I have to go I have to go I have to go to this part here, yeah, right? Like I think it's unfortunate mm. that most people 
and I don't feel like it's a flex, but most people don't understand sneaker culture. Like sad, it pains my heart. Like it's hard. Like it's, it's, it's bro. I'm like I wanna I wanna go somewhere like I'm in my kicks and I'm like this is nice. It's not for the flexing, yeah. but I'm I'm like I I got my shit. Like I'm like yeah, bro. You know, and then I I'm see pretty you, sure you flex on one at least one or two, bro. Like, nah, I don't flex. Seven. I don't flex. I just wear my shit because I want to wear my shit that day. But like. I want to pull up and I look at your sneak. I'm like, yo, those shits is fire. Yeah, like, you remember yeah. the first time I saw like them fucking Jordans, the multicolored Jordans mm, that you have? Like, mm, bro, mm. them shits is nice. Ones, yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't but, even want to talk about them. I could talk about but, them like it's a lot of fame, bro. I love those shoes. Either but, way, man. But you know what? Yeah. I feel like, and, and, and this is why, like, I am kind of on the fence with the whole flexing thing. Like, I feel like people who like a particular culture, and for us it's sneaker culture, it's clothing as well and stuff like that. Yeah, I feel like there might be people just like me that it's not for the flex, it's just hoping that you see somebody else that has some nice kicks and be like, yo, your shit is nice. Oh, yeah, so y'all from like a new group? It's like new group. You sound like a new group of people because <laughs> y'all are a minority, bro. <laughs> No one gives a fuck. It's either you go uh, all the uh, way or you don't. Uh, oh, so you don't like sneakers? No, I love sneakers. Exactly. But it's like, when I put on my sneakers, bro, I well, it's promise for the flex? you everybody it's looking for the at me. Everybody fucking looking at me, bro. It's for the flex? It's my shit hard, yeah. It's for the flex? Yeah, they're gonna get flexed on, bro. <laughs> bro, I didn't stay in line that long just for nobody to notice my shit. You're mad. No, but... <laughs> you, you can notice my shit without me flexing, bro. No, I don't have to flex. I just gotta put them on. That's a flex. <laughs> That and that's like every day, <laughs> bro. That's only bro. when I go like, only when I have to go like and get messy and stuff yeah. like that. I wear some dumb ass sneakers. Oh, but but I, what is it, if it's time to go outside and look good, bro? You mad? You know what's the craziest thing? I look amazing. Like you are the only person mm. I know. With, like I, I would I wouldn't call it better, mm. but you're like the only person that your shoe game. <laughs> I look at my shoes. I'm like this nigga. Yeah, my, my shoe game stable, bro. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's better, it's but I just be like, I'm like, fuck this nigga, bro. Salty, bro. Like you, you had salty. like this, you had like this fucking like these Jordans, like the pearlescent ones. Yeah, the pearlescent I'm ones. Like, yeah. I'm gonna, like, this I know you still salty about I'm that like stuff. This, I'm like, fuck Sorry, this nigga, bro. bro. <laughs> like, Man, I, I pay attention, bro. I, I don't buy that. that. I don't buy kicks as often, but every but, time I make a cup, yeah. it's fine. The pearlescent ones is nice. Yeah, I, mean, I look at them. I'm like, you know, the crazy thing about that, like, is the black. Is it black that made the pearlescent? Yeah. Pop. And I pay on in like almost a year. But like, back what? to flex culture and, and and just in general how you know it is a thing for some people. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Don't you think it's promoting materialism beyond a certain point? To be honest with you, like I'm gonna connect this to a conversation I had today with one of my my close friends mm -hmm. uh, that I. And I hang out with most uh, a lot of times, um, and he was explaining to me how the situation is like in Stockholm, which for you guys who don't know, it's the capital city of Sweden. On the other side, uh, you learned some, yeah. <laughs> or not? And, um, I don't know. He was explaining to me that the social interactions, how they happen in that capital city, it's it's really segmented and it's segmented along these kind of lines that we are talking about right now. So it's like. The rich kids, for you to be able to blend in with them, you gotta have a Rolex and travel with with Louis Vuitton bags and all kinds of shit. But but not not yeah. not to cut you off, yeah. Mm. But it was a thing, mm. like maybe like a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. where rich kids would go like into the club, and they would buy like an expensive bottle of champagne and just pour it down the drain. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and was like, no, but that is definitely a flex. Like, there is no line to that. Like, you don't buy, like, I don't know, a thousand bottle, like, a thousand dollars bottle what of champagne. alcohol and just and fucking just, like, just pour spill it, it down. Yeah. Like, that, that is definitely a flex. Like, uh, and there was people doing that. There was, like, and this is, because for me, unfortunately, I think, like, flexing is so connected to, like, your appearance. Yeah, it makes sense. That that is just me, mm -hmm. and I mean, I mean, flexing could take on a lot of different, um, yeah, variables. I understand. But that. but for me, it's very connected, and I guess it's because of how I think. 
but flexing is very connected to like my appearance. Like I put this on, I put that on because like I want you to see this. Um, but for them, the flexing was buying an expensive bottle of champagne and just pouring it. Like them motherfuckers could look like shit. I mean, you know, <laughs> them motherfuckers could look like you know lame ass sneakers and. Yeah. Lame ass, whatever the fuck not, but they could buy like a thousand dollar bottle of champagne and just, and just like, put mm, it down the drain. Fuck it, I don't want it. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I think flex is stupid, bro, from that perspective. It is stupid. It's, it's, it, it really encourages or uh, promotes the culture of, of being materialistic and, and, and not, and, and caring more about the, you know, vain stuff that we, we have uh, that, that, that is supposed to enhance our lives as opposed to making our lives um and if you get too yeah. lost in that you end up in this kind of problems where you have problems filling in and it ends up in depression and mental issues and stuff like that i feel like fashion in general should be about what feels comfortable to you what feels good wearing and uh, and the usability or the durability of the stuff that you buy there's so, nothing wrong with buying expensive clothing or buying expensive sneakers and all that kind of stuff for as long as the underlying thought is how long am I going to be able to have this and uh, if I can have this for longer that means I have to spend less on buying the same product that will make sense it's an economical issue and you are thinking correctly but, because but if you buy quality products then you don't have to keep buying the same product but if it's for the other reason because it makes you feel good for the moment or or other people um, perceive you as something uh, else than, than what you but, actually but doesn't are, that go, it doesn't really do so much for you as a person. But does, like, doesn't that go back to what I was saying earlier? Hmm. That, I mean, sometimes you have something on because you can afford it. Yeah. And it's not necessarily playing for the audience. It's just that I like this. Yeah. I want this. It's expensive. I want it. I'm going to have the it for intent, a while. Yeah, the intent yeah. is not like so you could feel less. Or the intent is not that I want you to see that I got this on. Because then again, I go back to the same analogy of, you know, the ring. Yeah. Where like, originally I bought it because I liked it. I mean, yeah, you that, know? that was the intention behind it, right? It, it, it wasn't like, I wasn't thinking like people's going to see this and think like, oh shit, that's an expensive ring. It was not. No. It was more like, I like it. Smart I want shit. it. Yeah. And it was impulsive, yes, but I had the money for it. I mean, yeah, we you all got I mean? different bags, bro. Like whatever I can so, afford, you might not be able to afford on the other way around. It is what it is. Bro. So in that, in that sense, like I don't feel like it was a flex. Mm. You know, mm. I feel like like that ring, like for me, like I would never fucking give that ring up. Like you have to, <laughs> yeah, you might have to cut my finger. Off. <laughs> you have to cut my fucking finger. Off. Like mm. I'll be like, I will have it like forever. I give a fuck. Mm. Like, but the intent was never from the beginning, mm. and still isn't when I wear it because like no. nobody knows unless I tell them. Like it's all diamonds. Like yeah. it's it's none of that fake yeah, shit. Yeah, none of like, that fake shit. You know what I mean? But the intent is not for me to like put that in somebody's face, mm -hmm. and it's just more like I wear it. I don't even think about the fact that it damaged no more. Like when when I just bought it, it's an object, bro. Who cares? Yeah, I, but, but like when I just bought it, yeah. it was like I'm not. It's not like I'm thinking I'm here now. I'm on top of the world or whatever. Not, but I'm like, bro, I was a poor kid. Yeah, I came bro. from humble beginnings, like yeah. Yeah, I could, like, you know what I mean? Like I could have never seen myself getting to the point, and I'm not even rich. Like you know what I mean? So that gives you like an idea of how poor I was. Yeah, it's context. You know but I mean? you know, it's just like now I could just randomly walk into a store, I see a ring that I like, I'll be like, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. Give me that. I'll take that one. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I guess, <laughs> funny enough, like <laughs> we're talking about flexing. I guess like the only time with this ring that I bought that there was a flex, it was actually the day I bought it. Mm -hmm. Because like you ever like you ever walk into a store and you're looking at something and somebody looks at you like, Oh, you can't, oh, you can't afford, afford it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think that was the only time it was a flex. Yeah, yeah. I guess like on some level, when you flex, it's not necessarily like 
because you're flexing on people who are less than you, sometimes it's just to like prove put somebody to, in you know, place. You know, put yeah. somebody in the place. Because like when I was looking at the ring, like I was in there like just walking around for no reason. It was just totally impulsive. Like I ain't never like mm -hmm. you really the day it, so much it was not my intention to like, oh I'm gonna get a, like you know, I'm gonna get a flashy ring or whatever not. Mm -hmm. But I was in there, I was looking at him, like, this is nice. But you could get the energy from like, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, why the fuck are you looking at this? Why are you having me opening up this? Because, you, you know what I mean? Oh, so you don't think I can afford this? I'm you about know? three. <laughs> you know? So I was just like, mm. for no reason. Yeah. No, no. I can so understand. So I guess that's the other side of the flex too. Mm. Because sometimes when, you know, somebody is flexing, it's not necessarily for like the end user, end user, so to speak. It's not for you or <laughs> anybody else who sees me after that makes sense you know yeah. sometimes it's just because like at the place i was at the time i was there i was getting a certain kind of energy yeah and i just yeah. had to show out you know i mean yeah i mean i can understand that like, we're talking about humble beginnings and stuff like that that's like yeah. it's always gonna be like a chip on your shoulder bro and like it's almost like you got something yeah, you got a little something to prove there, but no, but I felt like that. I swear, yeah. like, no, but like because I was in the store. Bro, you yeah. know where you live, bro. You know what side of the planet you live in, bro. Like every shop you walk into is almost like you're not supposed to be there. So yeah, and yeah, I'm so like, so it's um, it's, you can, I was like, I swear, like that day, bro. Like I'm in there, I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, oh, this is nice. I'm like, I don't have bank. You know what I mean? I got okay. back. <laughs> and, and, then, and then you get that kind of energy around you. And it's almost like, because like I've been in stores before where I look at nice shit. And I love jewelry. For who don't know, I love jewelry. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the fucking store and I'm looking at shit. Like I've been in several stores looking at shit. Mm -hmm. And like you get the energy from the person that's showing you this. And like, mm -hmm. I know you ain't going to buy shit. Nigga, you right? know? So you sure. get, you don't even get that you don't even get that I kind mean, you'll of, meet other people, but you never met me. You know, but you don't get that kind of service, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, they don't. They don't give you that kind of service, but that's the fucking be, be, matter, bro. Because bro. they think, like, oh, you ain't gonna buy shit. You ain't got money for yeah, shit. You're supposed well, to be broke. You know. But this is, and I think this is also why, like, some people flex. Mm. Because the fucking energy in the room will change. Mm. Once you be like, all right, come on. I get that. And I get that. And I get that. Yeah. And they look at you, like, initially, the impression is like, mm, you ain't got shit. I thought he wasn't going to be able to afford it. No, 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 you're a window shopper. You're, a window, you're fucking 50 cent. You're like a window shopper. Yeah, it was a window, window shopper. shopper. Bro, like, listen, <laughs> now I'm, I'm actually out here you know? to cop some shit. So, I guess, like, some people end up in that situation yeah. where, like, they will end up with some stuff because, like, the ring I bought off a of flex. I wouldn't even really call it a flex, but when it was I a think, flex, bro. yeah, a yeah, it became that because like of the energy in the in the place, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It became that because I'm like, I'm not gonna walk out of here with nothing. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be like, eh, just one of them broke ass niggas just came in here, just like? You think it's like a like a sales ta tactic? No, I don't think so. I think some people genuinely give you an energy, depending on what store you walk into. Mm. They give you an energy because of the way you look. Because, like, that, that day in particular, I ain't look like somebody who could afford it. I ain't look like some... Because, like, I'm a regular jeans and t-shirt mother. I mean, like, I mean, you know I me. Mean? I mean, how does a guy who could afford it look like, bro? No, but that's the thing. That's also yeah. another thing. Because I think, like, people profile people a lot. Uh, it's quite common. You know? It, uh, it, it's quite common. And, and let's just call a spade a fucking spade, bro. We live in yeah. Sweden, bro. Like, yeah. what do you expect? There's a certain profile that could spend a certain amount of money. Yeah. And I don't fit that profile. So I don't think it's a sales tactic. I think, more or less, there are people mm. who they profile mm. whoever comes into the store and think, like, okay, you get a certain level of service because... We know your type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your, type. your type doesn't really buy. Somebody. Exactly. Yeah. And then the, the satisfaction for me that particular day was just like, just knowing that I could have walked in there and just looked around and walked out and, you know, gotten that lame fucking ass energy because they think that I don't gonna buy shit. 
But then... So they pre- peer pressured you into buying that shoe? Not. Not. Yeah, yeah, they not. Yeah, a little bit. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> you just wanted to flex that. No, nah, no. Nah, but you know, like, so I think like a lot of the flexing comes from not necessarily wanting to flex on everybody else around you, mm-hmm. but flex on a certain person who gives you a certain energy. Nice. And so, like, the energy switched the fuck up when I was I like, like that one. I'm taking it. And the energy switch up, bro. The energy switch up. You'd be like, ah, okay. So that's how it be, huh? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of the flexing that goes on is not necessarily for, like, you know, the general public. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people, not everybody, because some people just definitely go out of their way to just be like, everybody should see this. Like, this is what the fuck it is. Mm. But I think a lot of it ends up in a situation where, like, the person who ends up being the person who flexes started out not with the intention to flex, but ended up in a situation where whatever the fuck you got on looks like a flex. Whatever it is that you feel like you want to have and you can afford, bro, get it makes you happy i think it makes everybody else the fact that you are happy is something that you inject into everybody else and that's a good thing so that is why yeah i don't don't know like i'm 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 gonna go i'm a a happy person yeah i'm gonna go left on that one (laughs) it's not it's not many happy people who go there and do fucked up shit bro it's only people who are happy and and they're not happy whatever it is that's going on in their life um so positive energy the more of it you have, the less you got to worry about. But, but isn't that better, though? Like, I mean, regardless of what you have, like, isn't the energy that you, you exude and the energy that you put out there mm. a much better thing as opposed to whatever material thing you have? But like, like, I was speaking all that from the perspective of purchasing something and what that thing or what it is the object is supposed to make you feel so if i was to get a new say get a new bentega tomorrow get a new bentley if he makes me feel happy then i'm better off it and that energy translates way better to the other people around me because i am just happy and i feel more but that's what I mean. I like, like but, that, but that, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. Like, yeah. isn't the energy, like, the most important thing? Yes. Because, like, I could have nice yes. things and have, like, negative energy. Mm. You know? The energy and is I, w- I wouldn't want to be around a motherfucker that has nice shit, but is just negative energy. The energy is everything. Bro. You know? Yeah. So, like, it, it's not necessarily, like, the material... Because, like... And, and I guess that's why you could view it as flexing or not. Because I feel like it's more to do with the energy around whatever it is you've acquired. Yeah. I mean, as stuff. opposed to what the actual thing is. Facts. You know? Yeah. So I feel... And we'll take your fucking shoes as an example. Stop. You know what I mean? Like, these fucking... Like, like bro, you're a sneakerhead more than me. Yeah, and the thing is, like... It's never, but like every time I see like new kicks, I'm like, dude, those shoes is nice. It's never actually about the shoes because like I see you and you're like, yo, bro. This is my and kick then, shoes. And then, then you get like like the energy surrounding that yeah. as opposed to what the shoes actually represent. Yeah. The shoes mean nothing. You know, the stuff means nothing. It's just how it makes the person feel and how that but, translates to yeah. human beings. And and it's just it. Like I don't have, I if I was to get a Rolex tomorrow, I get it because. I think it'll be a nice piece and be nice, something nice to add to my closet. But to be honest with you, bro, nah, like, bro. it would never really change the, the guy. I am. I'm, I'm getting a Rolex as an investment. Yeah, I'll get, <laughs> I'll get a Rolex and them, still go to my club them, shop. Them should eat. never depreciate. But the whole point I'm being, just getting like, it because how it makes me feel is not enough. But for me, like flexing can only be viewed as a negative because, like, then it's not about the energy that you're trying to put out, like. And regardless, you're going to put out energy. But what I mean is, like, it's not about you trying to put positive energy mm. surrounding you. Yeah. It's more like you're putting out energy based on what you've acquired. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and then it's just like, I have it and you don't. And that is always a negative. Because then you point, you, you know, you're 
pointing at somebody else, you're beating down somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're punching down. Whatever feeling you get of that, that cannot be good. I just can't see you getting any kind of good feeling. And if you do, then you need to see a therapist. If you get good energy of seeing other people feeling less than you. The, the, if you ask me, like, I feel like this, yeah. If you're ever going to have anything, just do it because you like it, bro. Yeah. If you're ever going to eat anything, do it because you like it. If you buy a house, buy it because you like it, not because it's going to make you look good in the next uh, friend meeting or whatever. Like, be intentional about your life. You don't get to live so long in this world. The things that you love, by all means, get those. Because they add to... To a, to, a, to a certain level of joy and, 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 and that adds but to your own But that's if it's for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? For the right reasons. For the wrong reasons. And, and if you're doing it to step on other people and make other people see or whatever, that's also fine for as long as you're okay with that. Because, uh, but then that defines you, doesn't it? It defines you, but then <laughs> that reflects on you. It, doesn't, it never reflects on them. And if you know anything about humanity... You are five second memory, bro. They will see it, and then five second later after that, they'll say something else, and life goes on. It doesn't really mean as much as you might you might think it means. But so do so it because you love it. Do it because it's you're passionate about something. Don't never do it because other people need to see it. They don't. But then I guess we could basically come to the conclusion that like you know flexing is negative. Uh, it's not necessarily because it could affect some people. In a negative way, but what are the chances, bro? It's very few people who get offended because you got an, you got on a few, no, I don't, a, a I, nice pair of kicks or you got on a, a, a diamond ring. Not for, they'll probably not remember that enough to be offended for. No, but for I don't, I, I don't mean necessarily like it's, that. It's, it's yeah, offensive. It's not. I don't mean like it's offensive to a particular person or particular persons. Mm -hmm. But what I mean, like the the. Energy behind it, the yeah. intention, the, the energy we, behind we it. We could yeah. basically call it negative. Then if you're flexing, definitely the energy behind it is bad mind, and we don't like that <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's time for us to go. So, um, if you didn't learn anything, at least I hope the conversation was entertaining. Come back next time, see us, you know, chill with us or whatever not. Um, but for the time being, appreciate you, man. Have a nice evening. We out. Bye bye.